corner. Another very popular surface is verdigris, this chalky green color that's so popular on copper and brass. You can buy green patina liquid ready to use or you can make your own. To use, set the piece in a warm place and spray until the surface is uniformly wet. Allow the work to air dry. Repeat the process three to six times. This surface is not recommended when the work will be handled or worn. Real finishing starts when you first buy your piece of metal. Don't put in any marks you don't want and it, you won't have to spend the time later taking them out. That means handle your metal carefully. In storage, put a sheet of paper between pieces, particularly of precious metal. And when you're traveling, don't let it bang around in your toolbox. A file is your first line of defense in removing scratches. The teeth on a file are directional. They point away from the handle. That means that you cut on the push stroke. You'll find your files will last longer if you get into the habit of lifting slightly on the return. When the file gets clogged up, take the time necessary to clean it. You can use a file card or just a piece of copper rubbed this way. We'll pick out the little pieces of metal that are lodged between the teeth. A few minutes spent cleaning the file will actually save you a much longer time using it. After a file, I turn to sandpaper, and I like to wrap my sandpaper around sticks like this. You can cut these yourself, or at the lumber yard, you'll find them sold as lattice. The advantage of having the paper on a stick is that it improves leverage. I can push harder, and that means I can cut deeper and therefore faster. The reason I like this size stick is that it mimics the shape and feel of the file. A typical progression would be to file, and then, without altering the position of my torso, set that down, go right into the sanding stick, and I can move down the progression from coarse to fine grits of paper. And in that way, because I haven't changed position each time or altered my approach to the metal, I get a much more consistent and therefore attractive surface. Remember in sandpapers, the higher numbers are finer papers. You might think of anything in the 100s, that is 120, 140, 160, as being a coarse paper. 200s are medium, 300s are fine, 400 is extra fine, and a 600 paper like this is very fine. I usually follow this with a buffing stick. This is another piece of wood onto which I've glued a little strip of leather. This leather is then treated by rubbing it with a polishing compound, Tripoli or bobbing or white diamond, for instance. And again, the same stroke. You'd be surprised how effective this can be. Going right through sandpapers all the way to a 600 and then going to this will give a high bright shine. And then of course you'd follow up with a rouge cloth. There are times when you'll need a larger surface. And this is a handy way to deal with that. I've taken a sheet of sandpaper and glued it onto a piece of plexiglass. Masonite also works well. You can use a liquid glue, but spray adhesive is ideal for this. I've put a different grade on each surface which means with two boards I have four possibilities. These are handy, for instance, when you're leveling a large edge, say the top rim of a cup. You can just spin it around like that. You'll find this paper lasts a long time. You can knock out the dust like that and even take it to the sink and wash it. And uh, it'll, it'll last for months. Let me show you a bright sparkly finish you can create with a brass brush. I'm gonna be working on sterling I want to be certain that I don't get this yellow color on the sterling, and I prevent that by using soap. You can either rub a piece of hand soap across it or just dribble on a little bit of liquid soap. I'll make the brush wet. This is just plain water here. And then scrub the piece. using a circular motion. And you can see the result is a, is a nice warm glow. I kind of like it better than the, the hot shine that plain sterling picks up from rouge. Metal surfaces can be protected by sealing them from the atmosphere. This can be done with a soft substance like wax or a hard sealant such as lacquer. 